All of my friends growing up were skateboarders and coming from a small town and being an artist, like skateboarders in the 90s were kind of the outcast and so was I. So we kind of were like our own little group and I used to draw on all their skateboards and try and skate but I couldn't afford a skateboard in the 90s. So it was always like borrowed time for me to get to skate as I'd have to steal one of my friend's skateboards. So my name's Stephanie Whitney and I'm an experience artist based out of Missoula, Montana. I use people's brainwaves to interpret their experiences as they go through listening to music, skateboarding, or a variety of other predetermined experiences. What I did create is the software that takes the EEG reading and turns it into artwork based off an experience. And I'm using four languages to get this to work all together from getting the headset into the final software. And so that was a big hurdle because when you're learning to code and you have this idea of how something should look, but you can't, it's not like you can just paint it. You have to figure out how to write it to look like that. So it started with the music. I love music. I can, I have no rhythm, but I love music. It doesn't matter what culture, what religion, what race you are, music has been a part of it since the beginning. We all have these maybe built in experiences that maybe are very similar, but different due to our lifetime experiences. We, I just wanted to build something that really connected that experience that somebody's having to an actual image that somebody else could see their experience. Mm. Synesthesia is when people see colors and objects linked to the music that they're listening to. So it's more, more than just a hearing experience for them. They actually see these visuals. I want it to really resemble kind of this universal experience that you have listening to music. And so I kind of went with the galaxy theme. So it kind of has this huge, overwhelming, small detail feel to it. But it also went through and looked at the way people describe their synthesia. So each object you see on here um, is actually related to a brainwave and only emits when that brainwave peaks. The green is gamma waves, which gamma waves usually are tied in with memory. So I wanted them to kind of have this eerie, feel to them, which to me, like the Northern Lights are kind of very eerie. And so I kind of gave them that feel because I feel like, you know, the memories are living in this moment, but somewhere in a distance, which is kind of like that mm -hmm. Northern Lights. So that's kind of how I juxtaposition all of my images. Um, the white is alpha waves. So alpha waves are like meditation. So if you're peaceful, you're going to emit alpha waves. This is part of the skateboard series. So they put the headset on while they do their favorite trick at their favorite location. And these are the end results. So the coloring is based off their alpha waves when they go into the trick. So the more black you see, the more relaxed and just kind of mellow they were, which Sammy Baptista was like the king of just black artwork. He was so relaxed. He's been skating for like 30 years. So it shows. I've turned the skateboard one into an actual product you can buy at the end. So after pro skaters get their brainwaves read and make their artwork, then we put it on products and sell it. I hope my art impacts the world in not only giving the availability for people that could not create art, um, maybe somebody who's blind to be able to map their experience and show other people kind of what they're going through. Um, so I hope it grows this awareness that even though we're going through these same experiences, it impacts every single person differently.